Hi, today we'll discuss about how you can write your PhD thesis or dissertation in a better way where you can get at full acceptance without any rejection. Uh, the first very important mistake that everybody does is to concentrate on the body of the dissertation or thesis. This is not good idea. First, you have to concentrate on three important areas in a thesis, that is introduction, abstract, and conclusion. And out of these three, introduction and conclusion, these both are very important. And these both introduction and conclusion must be linking to each other clearly. What you have suggested in introduction, what you have told in introduction must be linked linked to the conclusion uh, that derivation and the result so this link must happen in a thesis because when i interviewed very recently one of the journal reviewers and phd dissertation reviewers he just told me one secret that whenever he gets any thesis from any university to just uh, review uh, when he first goes with seeing the introduction and the conclusion and their link and he doesn't bother much about what is written in that 200 pages report over there. So what I can suggest you all is most of the reviewers or doctoral committee members, they have practically no time to go through each letter what you have written there in the 200 word body. But they are at most uh, make sure that they check the introduction and conclusion, whether are they proper or not, are they linked clearly or not, are they logical or not, are they powerful or not, are they at the right point and stay. So all these important things will be analyzed by the doctoral committee, especially with your introduction and conclusion part. Now, how do you write this introduction? Now, introduction is something very, uh, confusing thing when you want to write it and you exactly don't bring out the difference among how to write an introduction, how to write an abstract, how to write a con uh, conclusion. So you must show that clear difference what is what, how to write. Now let me speak first introduction part. In introduction you have to introduce something what is happening in the thesis. It is not something explanation. It is not something explanation. This is very important point because introducing is nothing. It is something that has nothing to do with explanation. For example, if you um, uh, see a movie or watch a movie, uh, you will get some introdu introductory roles or characters in the beginning without any just moving into the story all of a sudden and no movie starts actually with lot of action lot of story in the beginning itself director may take half an hour to introduce the characters clearly so that our minds we may come into that situation to yeah to start some uh, story so it's not that in a movie suddenly you start some action, fight and give conclusion. So it takes off now. But in the same way, it is very simple if you understand it. So I have given just now the practical example of movies. So in the same way, in the thesis, introduction part is something that you are introducing what is happening exactly in the thesis without any explanation, explanatory part. Like introducing this is what, this is what, this is what. And um, okay, before I go in, into the detailed part in my upcoming videos, uh, let me speak about the conclusion part. Now, conclusion is something that should be linked to totally what you have introduced, that derivations, results must be seen from that perspective. Conclusion is not something very different from uh, introduction without any link but it is not introduction it is the result it is a conclusive uh, action or idea or result or anything so this is how you need to bring out clearly analytically logically uh, linking out introduction via conclusion and 
in the in the middle after the uh, before the introduction you have an abstract this abstract is what like what i can say let me give again one practical example about a movie when you go to a movie and watch the movie and come back again meet up your friends and you want to explain the whole movie to your friend you are not going to explain to end of hours sitting there you are explaining to your friend five minutes of the whole story of one end of hour or two hours or three hours of story you explain in just five minutes now how you do that i don't need to tell that specially to you so let us come to abstract the same way whatever it has happened in that 200 pages body you have to shorten it and it is not a summary it is not summary abstract is something what you have exactly done throughout here the explanation is not something very long but the explanation would be very short in one or two sentences whereas in the body you will explain the same thing in a very bigger perspective so this is called abstract explain very very shortly and uh, run throughout the 200 pages in like uh, that 20 or 25 lines like what you are writing there 200 words or in some way so that that's how abstract must be this is these are the major differences among introduction abstract conclusion these three play a great role and one shocking truth I will tell after interviewing some of the PhD supervisors and after asking some of the doctoral committee members they reveal me one thing that even in the viva defense they mostly take introduction as the as the main part to ask questions uh, so if you are good at introduction you can even defend your viva successfully so taking off all my these tips you can really come up success and if anyone is going to write a thesis in a very short period of time, follow this very carefully. Don't worry at all about your body, about the 200 pages. That doesn't mean not to worry, but what I mean is do not worry too much. Worry normally, but worry too much about introduction, conclusion and abstract. Show to as many persons, as many experts as you can and do it professionally logically analytically skillfully and more than any of all these things you have to understand it you have to remember in your mind what you are speaking what you are writing because this is what very important tomorrow when people ask you some questions or while you defending it your viva or while accepting your thesis from doctoral committee so this this thing is very very important so follow all my tips and be successful those who are writing and those who are writing now and upcoming days or those thesis or dissertations who have got rejected recently and you want to rewrite or those who want to review back review again and you just follow this and you will be seeing the magic of uh, uh, the writing and don't worry everything goes well i wish you best of luck to you visit my website phpstudytips.com for more information about all those uh, information related to phd course thank you a lot bye